Greetings, fleshy mammals, and welcome back to another Naruto to Morto Shinobi Striker video. You may be wondering, why am I looking at a build? Well, this is actually one of my first builds that I ever created here on YouTube. It's actually my most popular build here on my channel as well. Literally my most popular video ever created. I believe it was called like God Tier Flame Control Build or something like that, but... Anyways, we're actually going to be taking a look at it and playing with it and seeing how well it fares. It was my second build ever, so there was a ton of errors in a lot of my logic um, way, way back. But I haven't touched this build in a long, long time, so I hope it does well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. I'll erase you here. Alright, so these are the juices that I actually decided to go with in this build. I actually went with the Water Dragon Jutsu Flame Control and the Susanoo Flame Control. Now, when I first made this build, I actually just got the uh, Susanoo Flame Control. So I didn't know how good it actually was when I was actually putting the build together. I just kind of put it on there because I thought it was cool. <laughs> I know, once again, like I said earlier, my logic was hella flawed way back. Like, if something was cool, that's all it took for me to put it into a build. The uh, skills that I went with on this build were actually the best parts of it. Decreased ninjutsu cooldown time, which at the time wasn't really all that normal for my build. I just kind of put it on there because it worked really well because it was a range type build. Um, and then I went with the uh, increased... Uh, status element duration. So basically whenever I hit someone with flame control, the flame control effects would last significantly longer And that's why I went with that um, And then there's the demon wind shuriken which I found I thought was extremely overpowered at the time And I still think it's pretty overpowered. It's probably still the best Ninja tool in the game in my opinion um, and then for the jutsus of course I went with the water dragon jutsu because of its absolutely destructive tracking and then flame control, obviously, because it was a flame control themed build. And honestly, this is just, this is going so well. <laughs> this is going so ridiculously well, I honestly don't know what to say. <laughs> Looks like he was having trouble. Alright, we'll, we'll pick that up. Wow, this is actually going so smoothly. Hmm. Well, I guess, I guess GG's, I, I guess. Wow. <laughs> That was surprisingly easy. You know, I think that to this day, this build is still one of my most sound builds ever. I actually use a ver I actually used to use a variation of this that had like Kirin on it, and it was actually like hella good. No, 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 Mitsuki, Mitsuki, Mitsuki. No, 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 no. You can go away. There, there's this combination of jutsus that I actually believe is probably the cheese, one of the cheesiest things I've ever seen in Shinobi Striker. It's literally, um, I believe it's the Lightning Shurikinet, I think it's called. And then combine that with pretty much any other range type jutsu, it will literally wipe out health bars. I swear to you. It is actually that busted. Someone used it on me like a couple, uh, a couple matches ago, I think. And it was actually busted. One one shot wiped out 90% of my health just instantly. It's actually busted. All right, there we go. Time to test out the ultimate. I remember there was a lot of people that said that this was a really bad ultimate. Ah, away. Get away from me. <laughs> Man, they jumped me so hard. <laughs> You know what? This is still probably one of my stronger builds, honestly. I, I honestly really like this one. It just flows really nice and everything just works. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way guys, um, today's... Today we're actually going to be doing our first uh, Twitch stream under the new um, revamped Twitch channel, so... Yay! Um, also, there are a few of you guys who are showing a little bit of concern, um over the Twitch channel. I, I'm guessing some of you guys don't actually like it, but just letting you guys know, this is more or less just a test run of sorts, I guess you could say. Um, it's not forever. Like, if it goes well, then yeah, we'll definitely be streaming more on Twitch than actually doing YouTube videos. If it goes... If, if it's bad, then if you guys really don't like it, then... I'll stick, I'll stick to the YouTube stuff and I'll do all the streams on YouTube. It, if it doesn't work out, no harm done. <laughs> Oof. Oof, I'm burning, boys. I need, I need healing. Ah, okay, I'm dead. 
Oh yeah, another thing that I really wanted to touch on really quick is um, the character reviews. Um, I think I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from that. You know, I've been pretty much spamming that since I've been, you know, doing this whole Shinobi Striker content on the channel. And I decided, I think I'm just going to chill for a little bit and do some, some other uh, Shinobi Striker content, uh, Jump Force content, and all that stuff because... I just think it would just be much better like that. And especially because I feel like waiting for the rest of the DLC characters to be out before continuing with it is just better overall, I think. You know what, I actually think uh, people were right. Maybe <laughs> Snow Flame Control isn't that great. Maybe it shouldn't have been on this build to begin with. <laughs> Alright, so the build itself works very, very good. 99.9% um, .9 of the time, the only thing I really want to change here, let's change that to Kirin, and we'll change this to the Orochimaru Kusanagi Sword. Basically not really changing the combos too much. And boom, the build is now perfect. Honestly, I, this one, it lasted two months, and it's still very, very good. <laughs> Um, once again, the only thing I would change is Kir the, the ultimate to Kirin, but besides that, I think the build is just fine. It works very well. The damage that comes out of the flame control, top tier. The fact that you can hit people through walls and stuff like that is definitely useful, especially when you got the scroll rush at the beginning of uh, combat matches and stuff like that. Honestly, gotta say, <laughs> this is probably one of my better builds, honestly. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, remember to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. It's been Casual.